And in our next segment, we bring you live from the office, Clive with his Shimmies My Jimmies segment. Clive? Good evening again, and welcome to another segment of Ruffles My Truffles, or Shimmies My Jimmies, depending on what you decide. I really couldn't care less, honestly. Because the topic remains the same. Things that irk me. Tonight, I have the wonderful topic of customers in supermarkets. Customers who... I'll start off with the cashiers and dealing with their customers, okay? Customers have a very bad habit sometimes of being rude and it's these rude customers that shimmy my jimmies because the poor cashier has to stand there for round about eight upwards of eight hours per day no sitting no stooping no squatting unless they are helping you and you decide to be rude to them that is not a very intelligent thing and then of course when they make a comment about it regardless of whether or not it's rude you go off on them like it's you like it's their fault that you're having a bad day are you really that unintelligent that you have to push the blame on some random passerby? In this case, cashiers are just kind of standing there, so you're the random passerby, but that's beside the point. You have to push your problems of your day that you could have avoided on someone else. Yes, there are problems that couldn't be avoided, but you still don't push them onto someone else. They happened to you. They are your problem. In If they were actually guidance counselors, or counselors in general, psychologists, that I could see working. But going up to a cashier and complaining about, oh, so in some idiot in the whatever department was giving me the eye, and it's your fault. Really? I've been standing here for upwards of eight hours doing nothing but serving you people because you're the ones who pay my checks. That's what goes on the, in the cashier's mind, is, really? Really? You bring your problems to me? To me? The one person in the entire store who can't do crap about it. Can do nothing about it. The most they can do is, if it's, an, if it's another employee, inform the manager, talk to the employee, that's about it. If you're really having a problem, seek help elsewhere. Now, customers talking to the sales associates that are walking around on the floor and are there just to help you find what you need so that you may have a pleasant and calm and possibly interesting day at the store. Help you get what you need, and if you're in a hurry, make it faster for you than if you were to walk around and try to find the item yourself, spending hours on that. And you decide, oh, you're going to be rude to this person because you're better than them. They're the ones that know where everything is. The only reason why they don't mess with your head and tell you, oh no, it's over here, oh no, it's over there, 
is because they don't want to get fired. If they weren't going to be fired, they would mess with the rude people, rude customers' heads like, no tomorrow. Oh, you're looking for the kitchen utensils. Oh, well, please, go four aisles over into the peanut butter section, then come back to me when you realize that, oh, kitchen utensils aren't there. Especially considering you're standing in the aisle, which clearly says, kitchen utensils. And then the worst ones. Oh, these are the most horrid of all customers. Oh, it's not scanning, so it must be free. I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. Just because one item doesn't scan doesn't mean all of them won't. We can always get another. That's how it is in the supermarkets and super centers and everywhere that you go to go find and buy something. If it doesn't scan, we'll just get another and scan that and give you the one you had. And then we put the other one back. Because, well, we need these items. We can't give them out for free. That comes out of our pockets, says the employee in their head. To you, they just go, we will get it taken care of. That is it. If you make a fuss, customers, well, you're causing major issues and headaches throughout all of the store because you have many people behind you that are trying to get out of there. Some of them have actual things to get to, unlike the stay-at-home customer who has hours upon hours to waste on this. And their precious time is being taken up by your stupidity. And that my friends, is what really ruffles my truffles. Thank you again, and I shall see you guys next time where I speak about another topic that ruffles my truffles. Bye.